Hello there and welcome to Lower Six Fed Math A Level Pure Core uh, Pass Paper June 2014. Right, okay, so we're looking at a proof by induction question here. This is uh, 8 to the n minus 2 to the n is divisible by 6. So we'll start at the same point that we have to for all proof by induction questions. That's proving the theorem true for n equals 1. So f of 1 which is the same as 8 to the 1 minus 2 to the 1, 8 take away 2 is 6, and that is the most obvious answer for being divisible by 6. Great. Second part, we need to assume true for n equals k, so therefore 8 to the k minus 2 to the k is divisible by 6. Step 3 and the more complicated part asks us to now prove this theorem is true for n equals k plus 1. So for this part I like to write down what I want to show here. What I'm looking to show in my proof here is that f of k plus 1 which is 8 to the k plus 1 take away 2 to the k plus 1 is divisible by 6. Okay, so that's what I want to show. I'll start off with the left-hand side of this uh, proof, uh, mainly the, um, the bit of algebra, then hopefully I'll work my way through till I get to the right-hand side, which is uh, that this theorem is divisible by 6. So left hand side starts with 8 to the k plus 1 take away 2 to the k plus 1. And here I'm going to, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to split up these indices so that the indices look more like our assumption, which I'm going to have to use to help prove this. So 8 to the 1 times 8 to the k. Remember that when you split up indices, you're multiplying your indices together here. Um, it's, it's the opposite of the rule where if you've got the same base number, you add the indices when you're multiplying. Uh, and take away 2 to the 1 times 2 to the k. And this is the same as 8 times 8 to the k minus 2 lots of 2 to the k. Okay, here is now going to be my big factorising step where I'm doing a bit of a, of a method like completing the square right force inside the brackets what I want to have inside the brackets, and then I'll adjust at the end. So I want my assumption in there somewhere. So I need 8 to the k minus 2 to the k. My assumption is going to help me prove this, so I need that in there. But I've got the 8 to the k times by 8, so I'll put an 8 at the front of that factor. But here you see if when we expand it, we're going to get 8 times 2 to the k. So what I need to therefore do, if I only want to take away 2 lots of 8 to the k, I need to therefore add back on 6 lots of 2 to the k. And that's perfect. 6 is the perfect number to have come out there. What I've got now is two components, one here and one here. Well, we include the 8. Uh, one where the component has a uh, our assumption in it, which I know is divisible by 6. And the other component here has a 6 in it, which I also know will make that number a multiple of 6. So I have to then write down a little mini conclusion from this, um, from this part here. Given that star is divisible by 6. from assumption and double star is a uh, is divisible by 6 from a factor, the sum 
of two multiples of six must also be divisible by six, which is what I wanted to show on my right hand side. <coughs> Great, so all that's left for me to do now is to prove part four. Now I'm not going to write down part four, you can check that in the answers, but what it will basically say is that uh, given that we have proven true for n equals one, uh, and having assumed true for n equals k, we have proven true for n equals k plus 1. Therefore, by proof by, proof by induction, f of n equals 8 to the n minus 2 to the n is divisible by 6 for all n that are positive integers. Now, don't forget to write down this part there in your proof, otherwise you may miss out on, a, on, a, on one mark out of your six marks in total for this question. Make sure that you don't do that. Right, six marks for that.